Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this video, we are going to understand the concept of bad debts and recovery of bad debts and also the accounting treatment of both of these things without maintaining the provision for bad debts, okay? Allowance for receivables, okay? Without maintaining that, how we have to do the accounting treatment also, we are going to discuss. Fine, so now let's start the video and let's understand this. Now, first, let's see this example to understand the concept. See, it's really simple. Let's say you have a business and you have made a credit sale to your customer of 5,000 rupees, okay? You have sold some goods and you have not received any money from your customer. Customer has promised you to pay in future, okay? So immediately, you have a future economic benefit that you are going to receive money in future from your customer. Yeah, you have to receive. So this is an asset. And we call this as what? Accounts receivable, debtor or trade receivable. In different books, different names are there. Yeah, in just previous video, we have discussed regarding this in very much detail. Isn't it? Yes. So this is our asset. Now, for example, let's just say we come to know that, you know, many months has passed by. We are not getting the payment from this customer. Okay. And we get to know after many months that this customer has gone bankrupt. Yeah. He doesn't have any money. So, of course, he will not pay us. Right. So immediately you have to understand from the accounting point of view that, you know, you have bad debts of how much of 5,000. You're not going to get 5,000. It is irrecoverable now. Yeah, you're not, never going to get this money. So this is your bad debt. See here, if this money 5,000 is not recoverable, then we call this as bad debt. This is our loss. And it's also known as in different books, irrecoverable debt. Okay, it's also known as irrecoverable debt. See here. So what are you going to do about this in the accounting books? See, they are written off as an expense in profit and loss account. Understand, you had an asset of 5,000. Yeah, you were supposed to get 5,000. So 5,000 was your future economic benefit. But since this customer has gone bankrupt, you are not going to get 5,000. So immediately you have to cancel off that asset, reduce the asset and also charge bad debt and expense a loss to your profit and loss account. You have to reduce your profit by how much? By 5,000. Is that clear? Because you have incurred a loss now. Directly that person has taken goods from you and haven't paid you anything. Yeah, he promised you to pay. You recorded as an asset. But later you came to know you're not going to get the money. So that asset is no longer an asset. Yeah, there is no future economic benefit in that. So you have to cancel off that asset and charge an expense, a loss in your profit and loss account. On the debit side, you have to take bad debts 5,000. Okay, don't worry, we'll see all that. Okay, we'll see the general entries, the accounting treatment. So now let's go to the accounting treatment to understand this better. Now here we have the accounting treatment that you have to do regarding bad debts and also recovery of bad debts if there is any. Okay, so let's understand. It's really simple and straightforward. See, first what happened? First, you made a credit sale. In credit sale, what happens? You all know the general entry of credit sale. You just record the asset. Yeah, you have an asset now, future economic benefit. So that asset you record, debtor account debit. Whenever asset increases, you have to debit. So debtor account debit, or you can also take receivables account debit, trade receivable account debit. Yeah or name of the customer also you can take, customer account debit. Okay, 5,000 to sales account because you have made sales revenues increasing, you have to uh, record the revenue by crediting it, fine? So this is the credit sale entry. And then what did I say? I told you many months passed by, we were not getting the payment and then we got to know that customer has gone bankrupt. Yeah, he has become insolvent. So in that case, we have to record the bad debts. What happens in bad debts recording? We have to cancel off the asset. Yeah, that asset we have to cancel off and charge an expense to the profit and loss. So how this will happen? Really simple and straightforward. Let's see the general entry. With general entry, you can understand everything. What all things will happen Yeah, in the books, in the financial statement, everything will be clear. See here, bad debts. First, you will record a loss, charge an expense. Yeah, bad debts account debit 5,000. Whenever expense happens, loss happens, what do you do? You debit them. Okay, if you want to record an expense, record a loss, then you have to debit that bad debts account debit 5000. And then this asset now you recorded previously when you did the credit sale, that asset is no longer an asset. There is no future economic benefit. So that has to be cancelled. How do you cancel asset? 
how do you cancel anything in accounting with debits and credits here it was debited and recorded this asset data account debit now to cancel it you have to make an equal credit see here data account is credited by 5000 so in this way that asset will be cancelled yeah because there is no future economic benefit you have to cancel to debt our account 5000 so this is the journal entry for bad debts bad debts account debit to debt our account 5000 is this is this clear simple now after this what you have to do after this at the year end you have to close you have to close the accounts while closing the accounts you have to transfer this expense account understand debtor account is completely closed here it was debited here you credited it got cancelled but now bad debt is an expense account it's a loss so this loss has to go where it has to go to profit and loss see here so they are written off as an expense in the profit and loss what is the you know accounting representation of this this is just description what is the accounting uh, you know representation of this it's really simple what you have to do is you just have to close the bad debts account to profit and loss you have to take the bad debts to the debit side of profit and loss yeah if you're preparing the statement of profit and loss in vertical format then you have to take this in the expenses bad debt expense okay right so profit and loss account debit you are debiting the profit and loss yeah because it's an expense now so you have to debit the profit and loss and credit the bad debts account why credit the bad debts account because see here you recorded the expense then you have to cancel this account close this account always remember all the expense and incomes account needs to be closed and they get closed in the profit and loss account okay then only you will be able to know what is the performance in the year yeah whether there is a profit or loss you have to take all the incomes and expenses and take them to profit and loss this is what happened yeah if you will learn about closing entries then that's what we do okay and many other things are there in closing entries now see here profit and loss account debit 5000 okay and two bad debts account credit 5000 fine bad debts was debited over here you made an equal credit and bad debts account got closed or you can say cancelled fine but 5000 went to profit and loss on debit side okay so that uh, it is considered fine okay the account is closed so this is how you have to do it the accounting treatment of bad debts first credit sale will happen and then you will record the bad debt loss has happened bad debts account debit and then you will cancel the asset yeah debtor account now if you have taken receivables over here receivables will be credited if you have taken the customer name for example let's just say mohan account debit here also mohan account will come okay like that and then closing entry will be profit and loss account debit to bad debts account here it was debited you credited the bad debts and got cancelled yeah that got cancelled and profit and loss was debited so the effect will go in the profit and loss account that there will be a debit in profit and loss of bad debts fine okay you understood that now let's come to the recovery of bad debt sometimes what happens in the current year there was a bad debt okay there was a bad debt you recorded the loss you cancelled off the asset and then at the year end you know you transferred it to profit and loss and then you prepared the profit and loss financial statements everything over then in the next year what can happen this honest person can come to your shop and give you the money see uh, last year my condition was really bad okay uh, i had really liquidity problems i could not pay you i went bankrupt and all but right now i have money take this five thousand it can happen okay it can happen so in that situation what you will do as an accountant in the business what you have to do is you have to record the recovery of bad debts all this picture is over in the previous year right now in the current year yeah in the next year here you have received the money so what you have to do see what if we receive money from customer yeah from our data from receivables in the next year what you're going to do you are going to record recovery of bad debts it's really simple all these accounts are closed and all okay so see what will happen you have got cash from customer right so you will debit the cash account cash account if you have received via upi or any bank methods then you will uh, debit the bank account okay cash account debit 5000 to bad debts recovered okay bad debts recovered so this is an income account bad debts recovered is an income account so you will credit that cash account debit 5000 you have received the money asset is increasing you will debit that and bad debts recovered is an income account since income is increasing you have just got 5000 so you will 
credit the bad debts recovered account remember you will not take the name of mohan or the customer no because mohan customer account is completely closed here you debited your yeah, debtor account and here you close so you will not take again the name of mohan and all okay no because this is just a cash payment so cash account debit to bad debts recovered 5000 5000 clear and then of course this is an income account this is an income account so at the year end what you have to do at the year end what you have to do is you have to pass the closing entry of this that is transferring the bad debts recovered account to profit and loss the same thing which you did over here now here it was an expense so bad debts here it was debited first yeah it was an expense so to close it you had to credit it okay and the debit was profit and loss but here bad debts recovered is an income you have received the money right now it's not a loss so first it is credited and then to close it off to cancel it off you will debit that bad debts recovered account debit equal equal okay 5000 5000 bad debts recovered account will be closed at the year end this will happen okay at the end of the period uh, right and the amount will be transferred to profit and loss the credit will be profit and loss so in profit and loss account what will happen on the credit side on the credit side it will come bad debts recovered 5000 okay that's why we are doing this we are taking the incomes and expenses to profit and loss the closing entries i mean okay so bad debts will go on the debit side of profit and loss and bad debts recovered will go on the credit side of profit and loss see here here profit and loss is getting debited so this will go on the debit side here profit and loss account is getting credited so bad debts recovered will go on the credit side of profit and loss okay so this is the accounting treatment of bad debts and recovery of bad debts really simple and straightforward whatever amount that is irrecoverable is bad debts and then after a period after a period after writing of the bad debts and all after writing of the bad debts and all in the next period if you receive the money from that uh, customer or any person then that's called recovery of bad debts and the general entries are really simple the credit sale entry and then bad debt entry recording the loss cancelling of the asset closing the entry to pnl right and then here also recovery of bad debts uh, recording the income that is, that, that is by crediting the bad debts recovered and debiting the cash account since you have received the money and closing entry is really simple just you know uh, debiting the bad debts recovered and crediting the pnl okay so this was all that i had to say in this video so that's it see you in the next video if you want you can take the screenshot yeah so that's it see you in the next video bye